So why are the newspapers going out of business? Why is the media so scared of the people? Well, a great example of that would be the debate. The Democratic debate a couple of days ago, every single newspaper, just about every TV station in the country said Hillary Clinton won easily. Now, the American people are not that stupid. Matter of fact, when the American people hear that, they cannot stop laughing. They cannot stop laughing hard enough because it was so obvious that Bernie Sanders sized into Hillary like she was a Girl Scout. When Hillary Clinton was talking about how tough she was on Wall Street, Bernie set her straight in a New York Minute. Yes, it's almost laughable. But it's not laughable. It's sad. It's sad that the media can actually throw out so many lies, propaganda, total bullshit. And they expect the American people to just eat it up. Well, the game's over. The game's over. But this lie here is so, so obvious. I mean, how desperate is the media? How low have they gone that they can actually, after everybody watches a debate, everybody in the world watches the debate, they see that Bernie Sanders wins it easily. He, they see that Bernie Sanders embarrasses this woman. And the next day, without even, without even thinking about the truth, the media comes out and just spews out their own agenda and just makes up a lie. Yeah, the media will fall from their own lies. So, I have, I am very, very confident, I am very, very optimistic that the media will die. They're already dying because of their lies. So now people have to come to alternative sources of news. They have to find alternative sources where they get the truth. Like right now, you're listening to this video because you're searching for the truth that you're not getting with the media. And I will give you the truth. I will say the obvious. I will tell you what I feel. I will. I, there is no politically correct nonsense coming out of my mouth. Only the truth. Only my opinion. Yes, and sometimes opinions can be wrong, but when the media comes out and just says obvious lies... Because how do we know their lies? Every major poll, they actually they do actually you know they actually do polls after these debates. Every major poll easily says Bernie Sanders won easily. So you don't think the media uh, read those polls? That's what's so sad. Of course, the media and the newspapers, of course, they're aware of those polls and even though they read the polls and the polls said that Bernie Sanders pummeled Hillary the polls said that Bernie Sanders won easily and even though he's a socialist at a, even though the media knew that as a fact they still come out and said Hillary won the debate that is so sad it's beyond it's beyond pathetic. So just spread the word. Drop the media immediately. If you if you don't if you continue to watch the main street media, if you continue to read the newspaper, well then you're just feeding feeding the lie. You're helping them lie. So the only the what you can do to help the lie stop is to actually stop reading the newspapers, stop listening to Main Street Media, and they will die sooner. They can push Hillary as hard and as strong as they want to, but Hillary's got so much baggage. Hillary's got so many lies tied into that career of hers that there is no way she could be the President of the United States. I mean, how could you, how could they elect somebody 
with the with the email scandal, the Benghazi scandal. I mean, come on, Benghazi. This woman's got enough baggage to head to the Middle East. Maybe that's where she should be living, or in a castle in Europe. Yes, when you steal that much money from Americans, which you know. The Clintons have stole quite a bit. And when you steal that much money, you might as well just go, go to Europe and live in a castle. Why would you want to stay around the people you've stolen from? Because one day they might actually get mad at you, Hillary. People, people one day might get mad and say, Hey, why did you steal so much money from us? Why did you sell your power to foreign countries? Yes, when she was Secretary of State... Millions and millions was donated to her non-profit organization. And then those countries got preferential treatment from the Secretary of State. I mean, this is all thievery on a grand scale. Grand scale. This is, this is thievery at its highest. But no, she'll see no jail time. And that's what's even more sad. This woman, who probably should be worried about going to jail over selling her power at Secretary of State over the Benghazi thing. The emails was a felony. This woman should be worried about going to jail. You know what she's worried about? Her poll numbers. Yeah, now I'm really laughing. She's worried about her poll numbers when she should be worried about going to jail. I'm, I tell you, this is, uh, this is, <laughs> this is surreal.